what we gotta get or what I gotta get done before we get into the 40 gallon room once we start building that and start seeing what I'm gonna do hopefully you guys stick around and check it out instead of just like tuning in for like a minute or two and be like hey this dude's whack I'm on to the next thing so if you're with it dude, hit the sub all right if you're with me hit the sub all right if you like what I'm doing hit the sub I don't care don't do me you do you it's all good all right so what we gotta do is I wanna see that hole in the back I had a branching coral back there. I think it was a green slimer or something like that. And I lost it because I probably didn't have the right water chemistry. And like most people, you kinda rush into getting things before you think it's really fully established. And I think that's probably what happened. And also I got these guys. We're gonna talk more about these guys in later videos about when you need to go get your uh, live rock. All right, we're gonna be going into talking about live rock too about going uh about getting it i'm gonna look at i'm gonna go around to a couple other local fish stores in my area look at what they got in stock what they got going on um i don't know if i'm gonna bring you guys with me on that just yet not in this video but we will be getting into that maybe when i actually go out and look at selecting live rock even though i got rock all right and i'm gonna show you guys how to cure it get it ready to go to throw it in your tank so that's gonna happen too most of you guys who maybe are checking this out already know all right, so we got that. So, all right, hopefully the dude over at the uh, local fish store ordered me the Harlequin shrimp so I can go pick that up, get the random piece of coral, branchy coral, some type of hard coral that can do good at the top. Um, RO water, then I got a term of parasite. That's gonna be another thing we're gonna be talking about. And then also, um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, some beginner fish that I think are really good for people who are just starting to get into the hobby. That would be a separate video, so look forward to that. Um, so I got a lot going on. I'm trying to organize this as best I can and trying to like, you know, throw it together as best I can. So, all right, let's go do this. Let's get it. I'm on my way over to uh, one of my local fish stores. Uh, I actually talked to one of my boys over there. He's uh, the manager and he does all the ordering. So they just got a new shipment in. So I'm gonna go check out what they got here. And then I'm gonna go head out to another one of my local fish stores that's kind of local. We're still in the same county, but he's in the next uh, the next city over. Still technically the same, the same city, but whatever, they got their own rules. Um, so we're gonna head out over there. Um, I weighed already and picked up uh, some magnesium sulfate, or AKA Epsom salt. So we're about to get it. We're gonna get a real good player. What's up? Who's a loser? Spooky baby. All right, I just got done with fish store number one. They just got a huge, huge shipment in. I mean, they had tons of cool stuff. I saw some baby, uh, flame angels, I saw uh, some hippo tanks, baby hippo tanks, uh, a spiny uh, a spiny puffer, they had um, a box fish, tons of clowns, like all sorts of clowns, uh, man they had a lot of stuff, yellow tanks, uh, they just got a, a huge shipment of corals in too, um, uh, they got some new discus. I saw uh, a marble red. I mean, uh, a couple weeks ago when I went there, they had like one of those fish that swam under uh, deep, uh, sharks and stuff. So that was pretty cool. Um, but they didn't exactly have what I wanted. And unfortunately, they didn't have the uh, Harlequin shrimp. So I'm gonna have to hold out on that one. They're trying to order that right now. They're trying to get a large shipment in. So I'm gonna hold out and wait for them to come through with that. Um, I'm out, I'm heading out towards a uh, shop number two right now uh, he's a little bit smaller it's just one dude um, so I'm gonna go check him out he usually has uh, some pretty uh, good deals on frags um, there's another shop in the area but I, I just want to go help this not really help him out but I'm gonna go he usually got some good stuff so I'm gonna go check him out real quick so hopefully uh, I'll uh, be coming back with something uh, real quick. all right crew I'm back I went to this shop number two and he did deliver like I said it came through with an awesome SPS that I picked up for a phenomenal price and I'm not gonna let anything out yet 
until I get 35 subscribers before February 14th. I will go back and we will go show some of these other tanks and some of the stuff that my uh, local fish stores are up to and what they're doing in my local area. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to acclimate the uh, the coral right now and then we'll hit it to the beeline. So whoosh. 